the tone of this review has drastically changed. If we'd have lost that, I don't even know what the hell I would have done. But anyway, we've equalised late on with Martial to take it into a replay. Now, it's not the best circumstance, but at least we're still in it. And there's one thing I've got to mention about this game. Alright, if you see, after the introduction of Schweinsteiger, we played so much better. It shows what he does so much better than Carrick, and that's... Be able to find a ball going forward. Carrick usually stands still, waits, and sometimes he can thread a perfect through ball. But if it's not there, he'll just pass it sideways. Whereas Schweinsteig is a lot quicker on the ball, and he, he seemed to make the space for other players to run into because of what he was doing on and off the ball. So, yeah, I'm really happy he's back. But in terms of our lineup, I really don't understand why Schneidlin was dropped. We're very, very solid when he's there. I mean, we were fairly solid even without him this time. And I think that's because I think we went with a direct 4-3-3, not 4-2-1-3. I think we played three centre mids. I mean, you could say Herrera was more into the number 10, but it, it was Fellaini, Carrick and Herrera all kind of in a in a line kind of, you know, interchanging with each other. Uh, with Lingard, Martial and Rashford up front. And we created equal amounts of chances with West Ham. To be honest, the result was deserved, but it's a result that neither team will really want. Well, West Ham will have probably wouldn't have minded it as much, even though we got the equaliser, purely because they're at home. So, yeah. And to be honest, it's just a game we have to win, no matter what. We have to win, because this is the best chance to win the FA Cup in God knows how long. We haven't won it in 12 years. We've won it the second most amount of times, and it's time to win it again. Arsenal went out against Watford, so it's set up. We've got Everton, Crystal Palace, or Watford if we beat West Ham in the semi-finals. And it's a Wembley place, and we haven't played in Wembley since the Community Shield uh, that Moyes won, which is almost a 1,000 days ago. We haven't won a trophy since that Community Shield. It's embarrassing. But uh, in terms of the game, I mean, Paye, he, he's just the difference maker for West Ham. He really is. It shows what you can do when you've got a world-class player who's on form. Well, even he wasn't even on form. That That's that's what defines world-class from non-world-class players. And he gets a free kick. And uh, regardless whether you think it was a free kick or not, it probably was. But anyway, it's just it's just world class. It's such a good free kick. David De Gea can't get anywhere near it. And uh, yeah, one 0 And after that, I thought we were going out. But as I say, we brought on Memphis Schweinsteiger. Finally, Van Hal making some good substitutions. Not one of these bollocks ones where Rashford ends up playing like what looked like right back for some of the other game or right wing back. Uh, last game against what wait was it Liverpool or West Brom? He did that, but anyway, yeah, like for like substitutions or adjusting it slightly. I mean, Memphis Schweinsteiger, they they were good substitutions to bring on, and they changed the game up in our favour. And also, he subbed off Varela later for Dormy, and that's a like for like switch. It's very rare for him to do that. And as I say, we got the equaliser back from Martial. It's a really good cross from Herrera and. There's talk of is Schweinsteiger blocking off Randolph, but regardless, it's a brilliant finish from Martial. West Ham should have had a penalty. I didn't uh, go through that, but yeah, Dimitri Payet clearly getting fouled in the box by Rojo, but we get a little bit of luck. Uh, I mean, the key decision obviously went our way, but other decisions, 50-50s and everything, were going West Ham's way. I mean, that's no excuse, but the, re the officiating was pretty poor, to be honest. There, I mean, some good decisions, but overall there was a fair few that were wrong for both sides. And obviously that penalty was a key decision in the game. But shortly after that, Paye scored anyway. So I don't think it mattered as much because they wouldn't have got the free kick after. But of course it's a penalty, so it should have been a penalty. Um, but as I see, in terms of the game, it's just... It was a fair result. It's a much better performance from United, but we really need to take this into uh, Liverpool now. We're 2-0 down. We need to play this... Um, type of football where we're creating chances we're running off players and Schweinsteiger has to play alongside Schneidlin with Herrera in the midfield Fellini wasn't too bad although there's a lot of criticism about Fellini he played very good when he was on the game I just don't think Carrick did so personally I'd still replace both put Schneidlin and uh, Schweinsteiger have Schneidlin sitting a bit deeper have Schweinsteiger Herrera about level with each other and then considering matters back next game I presume he'll play in for Lingard uh, then we'll probably play Rashford, Marcial, I would think, uh, as a front three. Keep the back four the way it was. I thought it was fairly solid, obviously, to hear in net. So hopefully we can overturn this 2-0 deficit against Liverpool and uh, remain, as Louis van Gaal loves to keep saying to the press, 
in three competitions. But we've got a replay, so you know we're no further forward than what we were prior to this game.